G'day guys, Luke here from Tech Blokes, and if you are like me and you've picked up an Apple Watch 3 or Series 4 and you've got the LTE version or maybe even just the GPS version, you're probably having issues trying to get this thing activated on iOS 13. So on my iPhone 7 here, I recently just updated it to iOS 13, the newest version. Let me just show you that. Okay. So you can see I am on iOS 13.3, just updated that yesterday. And essentially what's happening is when I try and go into the watch and pair this device and then do the software update for the Apple Watch, it just doesn't work. It basically just says it can't find an internet connection. So I'll show you how that looks. So I click on start pairing, it works over here, hover that over that. It will pair, like so. And then I just get this message that says, update now. So click on update now. Now I'm using 4G at the moment. It's the same issue even on Wi-Fi. Uh, I've reset network settings by going into settings and then reset and then network settings. Doesn't work. I've tried different Wi-Fi networks. I've completely hard reset this device. Um, I've done literally every single thing I can think of to try and get this working and I've got a background in IT and literally it just went around and around in circles. But the good news is I've got a fix and I'll show you how to do it. I just want to show you the error message first. Okay, so this is the error message that keeps coming up. Unable to check for update, da 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 da. You click try again, you even click the uh, start the process again and you'll get the same error. So. It's nothing that you're doing, it's nothing to do with your carrier. I thought possibly it was to do with my carrier. I rang them, I rang Apple, they did everything. Um, my carrier Optus here in Australia said it was some settings missing on their end. They turned those settings on, still wouldn't work. It, no matter what I did, it just would not get past this screen here. So, um, I thought why not just try my old iPhone 6 that's seen better days and see if this has older software, if it would allow me to activate the Apple Watch. And the good news is, it did. So what I've done, I've just done a hard reset on my iPhone 6 here. I'm just gonna go through the process of setting that up and I'll show you how to get it working. All right guys, so I've logged in to the phone. You don't have to do the factory reset. I just did that just for the sake of this video. Alright guys, so this iPhone is running iOS 11.4. I don't know whether or not uh, iOS 12 will do the job, but definitely iOS 11 seems to be working. So once you have done that, and it's just currently downloading the watch app, so I'll just pause the video, quickly download that again, and then I'll show you how to activate the phone. It's gonna be probably a little bit of a pain for some people if they haven't got iOS 11 um, available. If you get iOS 12 working, drop a comment below. I'd be pretty keen to know if that works as well. All right guys, so the watch app is just about finished. Okay, finished now, so click on watch. And we'll click on start pairing. Okay, so this Apple Watch was trying to pair with the iPhone 7 there, so it's kind of like midway through the process, so I'm just going to restart it quickly. Alright guys, so, uh, right guys, so I'm back at the initial startup screen for the Apple Watch, and what it's telling me to do is to bring the Apple Watch towards the device, so let's just try that. Not working properly, let's just click on the eye. We'll just go through that process, manual process. English, yes. So setting the language. All right, click start pairing. So grab my iPhone 6. All right, so your Apple Watch is paired. So 
click on start Apple Watch. See, I didn't even get this far previously. It wouldn't even let me select what wrist I want to wear it on. So um, the fact that I can get this far is pretty much a great indication that I'm going to get all the way through the process, which has happened. So uh, we'll just go all the way through the process now. And again, I couldn't do this on iOS 13.3. This is definitely a bug with iOS. It's nothing wrong with your Apple Watch. There's nothing wrong with your carrier or anything like that. So um, just be patient and I'll show you how to get through it. Let's get past that. Click on don't share. Hit OK. Uh, if you want a passcode, I'm just going to go don't ask. Skip this step. Continue. Mobile setup. Set up. Uh, we'll just skip that for this. Install all. And we are syncing. So you can see on the Apple Watch, it's about almost halfway through the sync. So we're just going to let that go. It should only take a couple of minutes. And then it should be activated. So we'll just continue with the process. All right, guys, there we go. So the Apple Watch is now ready. Um, I can go through all the basics, etc. And on the app, on the phone, you can now see uh, it's activated. And there we go. So all the info for the Apple Watch is now there. Now, um, what I'm going to do is just go and grab my wife's iPhone 8, which is on iOS 13 as well, and just make sure that it's synced to that. So I'll pause the video just for a sec, put the iPhone 6 down, and grab the iPhone 8. All right, guys, so I've spent a bit of time trying to get the Apple Watch to talk to my wife's iPhone 8. Not had any luck so far. Basically, you open the watch app on the iPhone 8, which is running iOS 13.3 as well, and it just won't communicate. It just keeps saying that it wants to update, but it just won't do anything. It just goes around and around in a loop. What it's trying to get me to do here, when I go in and go into general and then software update, is it wants me to update the software on the iPhone 6. Now, by doing that, I don't know if it's actually gonna make me lose the ability to actually communicate with the Apple Watch. I don't know, but I'm gonna do the software update anyway and see if it will then let me run the update on the Apple Watch. And then hopefully that will then talk to the iPhone 8. So uh, I'll pause the video, I'll do the update, and I'll come back and see how it goes. Alrighty guys, so iPhone 6 is running 12.4.3 and exact same issue. As soon as you fire up the watch app, you get this annoying error that says that it failed and can't connect to the internet. Now this is obviously an issue from iOS 12 to iOS 13 and it seems to be plaguing the Apple Watch Series 3 and Series 4. This is the LTE one. Like I just showed you in the video, Activated perfectly fine. Everything was working in iOS 11. So yeah, hopefully Apple fixes the issue because right now if you've got a Series 3 or a Series 4 uh, LTE, it's not going to work. So there we go guys, uh, kind of a fix but also a problem because you can't manually um, download the update to this device and then you know do the update through the actual Apple Watch itself. So uh, yeah, if you've got an older device on iOS 13, you could activate it through that, but then you can't sync it to your newer iPhone and start using it, which is a bit of a bummer. Anyway, um, leave a comment below if you find any kind of fix. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Cheers.